Welcome to Brando Consulting. I'm Lance and we're going to take a quick peek at creating a purchase order. We'll go to purchasing purchase order and the top left hand corner we'll click new. That's the very first step. Here just type in the vendor name. Begin typing it in and Fishbowl will automatically narrow down the vendors. Follow the cursor and the next space is the quantity space. So we'll enter in the quantity of the part we want to purchase and then select the part from the list we want to purchase. The cursor goes back to the quantity space, so follow the cursor. We'll enter in the quantity. I'll click tab and I can begin entering in uh, the part number. Select the part number from the list and repeat the steps over and over until you're done creating, uh, until you're done entering in all the parts you need to purchase. You can use uh, tab instead of the mouse if you'd like. If, if you know your part number you can tab and then begin entering the part number until it narrows it down to just one option then hit enter and that will add the item to the list. Looks like we're missing costs so I'm just gonna randomly put in some costs obviously this won't be random for you but for this demonstration we'll randomly enter costs. Now the location group is the warehouse that this purchase order will be sent to. Make sure it's being sent to the correct location. If we change the warehouse it will automatically change the ship to address corresponding to the warehouse. Last we'll check the details of the purchase order. Enter in any contact information that we may need. This is the vendor contact information. Um, Joe at Gretton.com or something like that. Uh, double check your terms. We have both payment terms and shipping terms. Shipping terms is who's going to pay for shipping and when. The payment terms are when is the uh, purchase order payment due. These notes will show up on the printout of the purchase order. If we click save that will give us a bid request. So I went to the top left hand corner and click save. If we click issue that will give us a purchase order. You can email the purchase order if that's set up. Uh, if your email is set up in Fishbowl then you can also email the purchase order. Now if you need to edit this document at all, let us know. Uh, this is a service we provide editing any type of document that's printed out of Fishbowl. So thank you for joining us on a very simple overview of creating a purchase order.